Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. I am delighted to see you have joined us today once again. Um, today, I have some bad news that for some of you might actually be good news. So far, the creation of this western area has cost me 16 episodes and that that is just wild and so essentially i feel like we've been at this for way too long already and i want to wrap this up really fast i'm not going to show you everything i do anymore i'm just going to kind of go through it fast because i want to get to building new stuff i have some pretty sick ideas for the future area and besides the data limit is a problem so i'm going to cut some corners i'm going to build some stuff that's maybe not as detailed as the rest but still fits in nicely you get the point the main thing is just i'm not going to get too deep into it for these last few episodes of the western area so that later we can go absolutely crazy with the other areas so let me just begin with deleting this ride um this is just gonna be like a like a lookout point i guess over the park seems fun i just don't think this ride is necessary let's just make all of this path so people could technically potentially sort of walk here but then that should be absolutely fine and you know what let's do it like this if the rest of the park is done and we still have some space left that's when we can start filling up these empty areas for now however this seems like a fine lookout point nothing too crazy just simple it's gonna save a bunch of space that's just fine on to the next thing to spare myself the pain of doing all these supports as you can see i overlaid a wooden coaster which does actually have these nicer looking supports um so i don't have to build all these the way i did the other ones now during the live stream i did not so long ago i did promise i'd put a teacups right right about here so let's actually go and do that we're gonna make a nice structure around it but first let's place down the entrance let's get rid of the fences in this same way once again it's all the same stuff again really and then once again i'm gonna cover up the edges using a giant sphere which will look pretty nice I think with these teacups and then using some rocks on the side we can kind of make this merge into the landscape a bit better because obviously this wasn't looking fantastic just like this nothing too crazy just simple i will cover up this entire fence as well <laughs> see right here it's actually a lot easier to cover stuff up this is i mean this looks great now this is obviously going to be the entrance or exit honestly i don't really know i haven't even really thought about the colors yet let's see what we can do maybe something um, hmm. Now let's make the structure around it. It shouldn't be too high, but also not too low. So it doesn't actually, you know, crash into the pot. Let's begin with this, I guess. Should be absolutely fine. And then really, we can just use one of these on top again. It does kind of merge in with the pot. And since I really like the look of this building, let's just kind of copy that same style onto this one. I feel like that's a pretty good choice. Let's add a bunch of these edges and stuff to kind of spice it up. And the horizontal bars on them as well, of course. Let's also add the white details on top and then we should pretty much have that vibe going on i think we just need to know what details to add on top here because obviously this is a bit too boring would this be nice maybe just a water tower we don't have one yet so i feel like this could just work we should however change this hideous color to anything anything other than that <laughs> let's just go with uh with this maybe a bit better and a circular tiny little platform for him to stand on would be nice something that matches the rest like this yeah pretty nice we can also use these roof kind of thingies i have no idea what you call these but uh Ooh, and these we can make that blue color so it really matches the blue and red and white i love it inside of here we should add some light because otherwise it is very dark maybe just four of these very simple lights on the ceiling um should be absolutely fine it makes it nice and cozy in there for sure and we just have to make sure you can properly enter or exit this right now i know that this makes no sense because there's only one way in or out there's no second there's <laughs> oh my god you get what i'm trying to say there's only one access point which makes no sense but you know what that is something i will do when later on it turns out i have some extra space left not right now let's just make very simple stairs right here i guess and let's paint these wood i could later potentially make a staircase that goes from the top here all the way down with down here a little bit of a queue line i guess could be fun but now let's move on to the next thing for today around this entire bit we obviously need a fence because we don't want people to yeet themselves across the edge so let's go with the most basic and simple fence design ever but it works it's functional so it's fine and just like this let me just go all over the edge this is ab oh my god honestly what the hell do i do now i can't just leave it like this oh my god maybe if i remove this bush we can actually fit another one here i will pray yes we still need to add the bar though Oh no, that's a problem for uh, about five minutes from now. I just got past it, 
and it didn't seem to be a problem so i guess um that is a good thing that is another bullet dodged you may also have noticed i'm wearing my og outfit once again or at least not the og but the the movie park 2 hoodie you can still get these they are in the roblox uh, benji's adventures group the link is down below if you want to get one for yourself make sure to check it out honestly i think the design is pretty cool it has the two of movie park 2 on the back so you just need to get it and the last one into the wall. Then there you go. That is the fence. This definitely does look a lot better. It was just a bit weird and empty before, but this uh, this is nice. We should later add some benches here and stuff. Actually, let's do that now. I'm just going to freestyle this a bit doing some random stuff. Just like this should be lovely. And then the part you can lean against like so. That is just a very simple but pretty nice bench. Let's put another one right next to it for some uh, some extra <laughs> extra benches that is quite nice and to top it all off a trash can right next to it okay then let's see what's next on the list on top of this little area let's put some bushes to kind of make that look a bit nicer because right now this is um quite shit. and you know what let's also put some of these trees to really finish that off along with a bunch of cacti maybe i still can't get over the word cacti like multiple cactuses is cacti which sounds just ridiculous but oh well i guess it is what it is english makes total sense to be fair though i don't think any language truly makes sense i mean don't get me started on dutch it's ridiculous let's add some of these dead bushes in there as well for some extra variety and some cacti bloody hell at the beginning of making this park i said i wasn't going to use the um standard stalls but to be fair since the update they do look a lot better and this is just a perfect spot so let's put one down right here um, and then add some tiny tables here I guess first however let's make a clear sitting area like a wooden platform just to make it clear that this really is a separated little restaurant area now what we could also do is hang up some really fun looking lights and just have a bunch of these light spheres hanging on different heights simply to create a very cozy kind of effect maybe something like this could work fine yeah that is that is really nice actually and all we gotta do is make sure they have ropes so they hang on the ceiling and then we're golden and now finally i will make the simplest of table designs because this obviously this is kind of a cheap snack bar type thing not really a restaurant so really just something like this should be more than fine although we could also make them round that's also fun these are standing tables so there won't be any seats because i don't feel like it okay i shouldn't say it like that but we have to cut some corners because i won't make it to the end of the park this way to be fair though this actually looks quite nice it's it's absolutely fine nothing too crazy but still some nice detail in there moving on the last thing for today's video um this building right here with a slide right through it uh, let's make this look a bit nicer because this well I don't even have to say it. Let's begin with a very simple wooden texture. You probably already expected this. You won't actually be able to go inside this building or inside the actual slide. It'll just be for aesthetics. So let's kind of go with a plank idea. I hope this works. Let's see if it actually does. We can add some nice and crooked ones in just a sec. This is actually pretty nice, isn't it? And then right below, we just kind of do the same thing again. Nice and uneven, which is exactly what makes it look so authentic. Looking back though, maybe this wooden plank Blank texture is still a bit nicer. It just adds a little bit more texture and detail to it. Yeah. And also some horizontal bars to kind of keep the whole thing together like this. I feel like stuff like this just, just is kind of nice, right? It's simple, but somehow very effective. Then let's add these screws and bolts once again as well. Obviously, it's all the same stuff as usual once again. Then let us add some simple windows. This really, it's, it's kind of lazy maybe, but it's fine. I'm at a point where I don't have to explain to you anymore why I do stuff like this. It is just to save space. Let's put a door here that's kind of being blocked by the rocks. And you know what? Let's make it a little less boring by adding a very simple balcony here which is something you see very often as well in western type buildings just adding some final details and then i call it good and then let's also go ahead and add that round roof effect that so many western buildings have it looks nice so let's go for it and using some of these quarter cylinders to make the top of that look good as well because otherwise that's just kind of sad but i think this is not actually so bad we should add something on the front of these though i'm not sure what so i put some juke boxes in there which makes absolutely no sense but <laughs> you can't deny that this actually looks quite fun i have no idea why but whatever we'll just keep it like this until we find something better um then the slide itself like i mentioned before this sadly won't be an actual accessible slide you just have to kind of use your imagination 
<laughs> I guess. Which, if you think about it, is really sad, but um, it is what it is. Using these very simple cylinders, I'm gonna try to make a clean transition between these pieces. Just something like this. There you go, that's the bottom half. And to at least give the idea that this is hollow, let's add a little bit of an edge to it on the front here. Because now I think we can just make this black. See? That's kind of convincing. It's a bit lame, it's a bit cheap, but it's better than nothing, so let's go for it. And as for the color of the slide itself, maybe red? Or is that a bit too much? I feel like that's a bit much, although it does look nice with the carousel. So maybe let's just try this for now. It does look nice and shiny though, can't deny that. Which actually makes me think, what if we just do the metal color? That actually seems a bit more re yeah let, let's do this it does seem a bit more realistic and then to finish off this entire little area here we simply need to finish this slide on the other side of course so let me just do that right now just like so and then this right here is gonna be the entrance see even that looks pretty good for some reason the last little piece on here and bam let me just put some rocks here to kind of fill up these empty areas so that really the slide goes pretty naturally through all the landscape elements this seems incredibly difficult to make in real life but thank the lord this is not real life then here you go that looks pretty cool as if it kind of collapsed on top of it um that is this this actually this looks very nice doesn't it this came out way better than i expected with all of that done i feel like we've made some pretty nice progress um in the next episode which i hope will be the last for the western area of course we can finish this building right here which is going to be some sort of bar and also these right here we can make a final entrance sign for the actual coaster which doesn't even have a name so you know what to do in the comments leave your ideas and then what else is there i mean these supports right here but that's something i'm gonna do off screen anyway when those are done it really just comes down to the tiny things like benches and lights I noticed we haven't built any lanterns yet, so we are definitely going to have to get into that as well. But when all that's done, it's pretty close to being finished. And then I guess for today, that is it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single future upload. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2.